Hello, this is Jen from Internet Lessons. I'm going to show you how to customise WordPress so that it looks part of a Web Plus website. In another video I've done, I've showed you how to use an iframe to get your WordPress website to show within the template of your Web Plus website. But this is another option that you could try if you want to integrate it. So what I've done is I have just opened up one of the templates that come with Serif. And if you want to do sort of follow what I'm doing and you don't know how to get a template, you just go to the file menu startup wizard and use design template and I've basically chosen the Spyro one for this exercise. And then what I've done is I have previewed the template in my web browser. So I've gone to preview site and preview site in Google Chrome. It doesn't matter which browser. So you can see what you're working towards. And obviously you can do this with your own designed web plus website as well. Then what I've done is I've installed WordPress onto a directory on my web host and I have got um, open a tab which shows a preview of what the site looks like and also the dashboard so I can flick between the two. It makes life an awful lot easier when you're trying to customise your site. So what we're going to do to start with is we are going to look at the background. So we want to find out what colours have been used and also whether there's been any images used. So open Web Plus back up and I want to go to the master page for this. So I go to master A, edit page properties and I've clicked on background over here. So what you can see is that the background is an image called background Spyro this file will be stored on your computer somewhere if you're using a template. So what you need to do is you need to go and find that image because what we're going to do is we're going to upload it to WordPress. So how, the best way to do it is to go to your start menu, um, type in background underscore spyro dot png and see more results even though you saw it appear there it gives you the path here of where it's stored. So make a note of that um, and go and find that image. We're going to be using it later. You also need to check this part here. So it's tiled and it's top center. The other thing we want to look at is the background color that's been used. You can see this is kind of burgundy color. Go to the drop down arrow, more colors. And you can see the number of the colour here. So you want to write that number down, 723450. So that's the number we're going to need. So then what we do is go back to our WordPress dashboard. And we're going to go to the appearance and the background, because that's what we're going to do first. So what we're going to do is we're going to first choose the file for the background image. Now we know what that is. That's a background Spyro image. So we choose the file and I've, I've come to the right path, Serif Web Plus X5 images, um, because I've had nearly all of, I think I've had all of the versions of Web Plus because I love it so much. It's fantastic software. So I want the Spyro, there it is. And open, I'm gonna upload that. If you check here, you'll see the positioning is left and tiled which if you notice from when we record, when we were looking at the master page settings, they were the settings from the Web Plus template. So they need to be the same to make it look right. It doesn't look much different at the moment, but it will in a minute. The next thing we need to do is we're going to change the background color. Now we know what that is. So not that pretty pink color, it's the 723450 color and then we're going to save our changes. So there we go, we've got the burgundy and we've got that image installed. So if I go back over to the preview of the site and just refresh the page, you can now see we have exactly the same background as we have on our Serif site. 
The next thing we need to sort out is the header. So what you need to do now is go into appearance again, but this time we're going to go to the header option. You want, we're going to change that, the image in a moment, but first of all what we're going to do is we're going to remove the tick from show header text with your image. So this is how it looks at the moment with this bar across the top here. And then when I save here and then refresh the site page, you'll see that the site title disappears. The next thing we need to do is we need to replace this image with one of our own. Now, it's not a perfect way of doing it, but it kind of fulfills the job. So, if you open up your serif site in the browser, what I would do is make sure that the header is exactly how you want it to be with titles and um, telephone number, whatever you want on the title. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically take a, turn it into an image. So I'm going to use Snagit um, because it's from TechSmith. Um, that you might have a snippet um, program on your computer. So I think it's from Vista Upwards or Vista Newer has that on, on the computer as a standard, probably in your accessories directory. So I'm going to capture the image and I'm, all I need to do is I just need to highlight the bit that I want to keep. There we go, that's about right. I'm just doing it roughly, obviously it's not going to be perfect. And I'm going to save that as, I've, as you can see I've been practicing it, to show you properly, I'm going to call it um, Spyro. Oops, Spyro. Oh, header tutorial. That's fine. And then save it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to upload that into our WordPress. So we're back into our um, dashboard where we were before and this time we're going to choose a file and I'm hoping oh I have to try and find it now so just bear with me a second there it is Sparrow Spyro header which we've just snipped so open the file and then upload it just in the same way as we did with the background image Okay. Now it's asking if you want to crop it. Now I want it the same. I want it the full size that it is. So I'm just going to expand the cropping to the full size like that, and then click crop and publish. There we go. There's our image. So I'm just going to save the changes, and then I'm going to refresh the screen. And there we go. So now we have the header, which we've taken the um, snag it off, and we have got rid of the header title at the top. Now we need to customise our navigation bar for our WordPress site to look like our Web Plus one. So what you need to do is go to your dashboard and then to go to pages and create all the pages that we require to match the navigation bar. Now you'll notice I haven't created a home page here and I'll explain why a bit later on in the video. But if you've never created a new page before, all you need to do is go to add new and then put in a page title. And if you're going to do a standard page, obviously this is where you put your text and then you would publish it. So you can see I have all my pages created here. The next thing we need to do is to go and install a plugin. So I'm going to show you what that one is. So we'll go to um, Add New. And the plugin you want is called Page Links 2. So you just type that in, click Search Plugins, and then you'll see it comes up on the top of the menu. And what this will let you do is redirect a WordPress page or post to another URL. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to change each of the titles or each of the pages on our 
WordPress site to point to our Web Plus ones. So as you can see, I've already installed it, but all you need to do is, like it says here, install now, and it'll run through the installation procedure and then activate the plugin. So we go back to our pages now, I'm just going to show you how you use the redirect. So let's choose About Us, we're going to edit that page, and then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom where we'll see the page links to part. And as you can see, I've changed it from its normal WordPress URL to an alternative URL, and that is where you put the link for the page you want it to go to. And in order to check that out, you go to your Web Plus site, as you can see I'm on the About Us page here. So you go to Edit, Page Properties, and then you have a look to see what the name of the file is, the name of the page. So obviously it'll be your main domain, forward slash, and then aboutus.html, or whatever you've, you've called your page that you want it to link to. So go back here, so you'll see here it's DD Hair Design, and it's About Us. And you can also choose to put a tick in the box to open this link in a new window, but I've left that blank. You then update your changes, and that should redirect it. So if I test it, it's not actually going to work because I haven't got the site live. But just go through that procedure and it will work fine. OK, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to change the home page. Now, do you remember me saying that I hadn't installed a home page? Now, the reason being is this one is already installed as default. So you don't want to add another home page because all it will do is add another home page on the end of here. So what we need to do is we need to configure this home page. So when we click on it, it takes us to a home page of, say, our website not the home page of the WordPress site. So in order to do that, we go to Settings, and then we go to General. And as you can see here, it says Site URL. Enter the address here if you want your site home page to be different from the directory you installed your WordPress. Now, as you can see, this is the directory I stored my WordPress in, my blog in, but I don't want the home button to point there. I want the home, the button to point to the main domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that by taking blog off the end. Oops, like that. And then I'm going to update my changes. So all that's going to happen now is whenever someone clicks on the home button on the navigation bar, it's going to return me to the main domain of my web plus site. So this is what I was saying earlier, that you may actually wish to put a blog page on, both on your web plus and your WordPress site, because otherwise when people return to their web plus, web, web plus site, you won't be able to get to the blog, back to the blog. So that's something you really need to consider when you're doing it for real. So far in this video, I've shown you how to change the background of a web plus blog, the header, and also the navigation bar. Now obviously you probably want to remove the search bar here to make it look more similar or you may want to add the same search bar onto your web plus one. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.